May 18th, 2020. Monday of the sixth week of Easter. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. We set sail from Troas, making a straight run for Samothrace, and on the next day to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, a leading city in that district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We spent some time in that city. On the Sabbath, we went outside the city gate along the river where we thought there would be a place of prayer. We sat and spoke with the women who had gathered there. One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth, from the city of Tyatira, a worshiper of God, listened. And the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptized, she offered us an invitation. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed on us. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in his people. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. And you also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this so that when their hour comes you may remember that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord.